Welcome to Tackle Fanatics TV. Good morning. You join us nice and early. Um, we're away for a couple of days uh, to do the product filming for the new spring launch. Um, and it's been a bit of an adventure the last 24 hours. We are supposed to be somewhere else. Uh, turned up late there yesterday, uh, met Mr Hood, and uh, it wasn't going to be right. It was right next to the M25, and we walked around ages and ages, tried to find a little sort of haven we could get out of the noise, but we couldn't. So a change of venue was needed. So booked into a hotel in the heart of London, and uh, we find ourselves bright and early and first on the gate at the Walthamstow Complex, uh, deep in the heart of London. I love this venue, fished here quite a bit last year, towards the end of the year, and uh, I shall certainly be doing it again this year, so I'm quite glad we're here anyway. Um, so like I said, the purpose for the trip is really to get all the new videos done for the new gear, um, but we'll have the rods out in between and see if we can uh, snare one of their lovely old carp. And if we do, you'll be first to see it. Well, you join us at the end of uh, an eventful day one. Uh, plan was, we had a brief chat this morning, uh, was to get here early, get in one of the good swims somewhere where we could both do the filming for the new products and fish. Uh, first bit completed, got in one of the going swims, uh, the Tea Party 2, um, but as far as filming goes, it was a no-go. Uh, there's a lot of work going on in the complex at the moment, uh, boats in and out, um, and there's a huge, great pump going on behind us, you can probably hear it. So as far as filming goes, it wasn't going to happen. So there was no rods out today. Been around, had a good day filming, uh, right around the back of the number one. So that's all done and dusted. Um, but we're going to get the rods out tonight. We've been given special permission by Mile on the bailiff. So we've been really lucky. Uh, it's really difficult to get all this filming done in one day. You need two days. And obviously with the short days in the winter, um, this has been a big advantage being able to stop here the night. We're going to chuck a couple of rods out tonight. Um, Live in hope. I mean, obviously, like I said, there's a lot of work going on, so it's not fishing particularly great, um, and we are up against it, but we'll certainly have a go. Um, someone who has had a good day has been the uh, resident squirrel. For those that fish here, will know all about him. Uh, we've come back to find somehow he's drunk two pints of milk, uh, eaten half our food, and uh, more impressively, he's eaten a family pack of French fry crisps, uh, which is pretty awesome to see. But we're going to get the rods out now, only a couple each, and uh, get some food on the go and see if we can catch you a fish. And if we do, you'll be first to find out. Well, good morning. Um, not very eventful for me last night. Been uh, well and truly shown up by Gaz the cameraman. He's, uh, he's managed to nick a couple. Had a small common just on dark last night. I think it was about 16 pound. And then uh, not too long after that, he had another one, just over 18 pound. A couple of really nice fish. So um, yeah, he just caught them just in the channel, sort of separates us both. So could call it poaching really, but um, we'll count them. Uh, so yeah, it looked good last night. I felt quite confident. It was, uh, it was a little bit pub chucky in the end because we had a, had a few bits to sort of finish off. So I wasn't entirely happy with how everything went out, but happy enough. Um, I just think with all this work going on, it's making it really difficult. But rods have been redone this morning. Um, got one right in the sort of dolly hole, if you like, on the swim. Um, it's a nice little snag just down to my right. Does a lot of fish. Um, yeah, and it's right on the money. So we've got the rest of today. We've got a little bit of filming to do again shortly. So whether we can do that in situ or not, so I can keep the rods out, it'd be nice. Try and nick one before we go home. But yeah, until then, we'll do a little bit more filming. Um, 
and hopefully I'll report back with a fish, but we'll see what happens. But I'm going to make a cup of tea now, so uh, hopefully see you later with a big fat carp. Well, look at that. When it all looked like it was lost, we had the digger swimming behind us. I've managed to pull one back, and it's a perler too. Just under 22 pounds of classic Walthamstow carp. It's a really tight cast down the side there. The wind's got up to about 50 mile an hour. Uh, so I persevered, lost a rig, took me about 30 casts, but we got it in the end, and uh, it's paid off. At two hours later, this is ramped off. Yeah, absolutely made up. Got a little bit of time left, a little bit of filming to finish, but we'll get him back, get the rod back out and see if we can catch another one. Cheers. Well, this place really is the gift that keeps on giving for me. I've had belter after belter from this complex and I'll certainly be coming back. We've just about exhausted all filmable light, about to pack down and the right hand rod that done me the fish before has ripped off again. Absolutely made up. This time it's a lovely mirror, 33 pound five ounces. We're absolutely chuffed to bits. We're gonna wipe the kit down now, get packed up, but it just goes to show you we're in January, it's miserable, but you ain't gonna catch them sitting at home, so get yourselves out there. Thanks for watching. You've been tuned in to TFTV. Tackle Fanatic stock an extensive range of tackle and bait from all the leading manufacturers. To check it out, go to www.tacklefanatic.co.uk. Member Tackle Fanatic's also a finance to make your tackle purchase more affordable. Tight lines and wet nets from everybody at TFTV.